This year, growing corn was such an amazing experience. I feel really lucky that it grew so well on the first year of us trying to grow corn. Pretty much every corn seed that we planted came up and produced several ears of corn. It's been a great experience to see all of the corn stalks grow and then finally see the fruits of our labor and to be able to harvest them. This was our first harvest. And this was the second one. We got so much. The best part, of course, is shucking all of the corn. It's so much fun. Especially all of the wonderful bugs that go with organic farming. Shucking the corn is just the first step in being able to preserve it for later use. Ugh. So as I was shucking the corn, a weird tiny black bug came out and bit me or stung me on my wrist and it's swollen up and it's sticking. I wrote on it to just check. I don't know, I'm sure it's gonna be fine, but it hurts really bad. Ugh. Anyways, a lot of the corn did get eaten at the top, um, so I, I think, what are they called? They're like corn earworms? Or, I, I'm not sure what they are. I can't remember the exact name. I looked it up. Anyways, they did get eaten um, like the first little bit, so I had to break it off, but I'm saving the rest of the corn. This is Silver Queen Sweet Corn. And this is the giant stack in this bowl that I am going to be freezing right now. So I just washed it and now I'm going to blanch it. So basically putting it in boiling water, I'm going to wait till the water boils again, then let it boil for three minutes, take it out and put it in ice water to stop the cooking process. Okay, this is done now, so I'm putting it in the ice bath. And I'm going to let these cool in here for about three minutes as well. Start the next batch. My little one's sitting so good. Are we going to freeze some corn? After blanching the corn, I cut off all of the corn kernels. And that's what you call them, corn kernels, and put them in a gigantic bowl for us to be able to freeze. I got all of it cut just in time before I had to leave, so my husband finished up by scooping in the corn into our food saver bags and then vacuum sealing them. I had to take our son to Taekwondo, so my husband was awesome and he bagged up the corn and vacuum sealed it. We did uh, three cups in each of these bags and it got us uh, six, no, five? I thought he said six. Five bags. It's now several days later and I, I had like, uh, I think two bags of corn left 
down in my fridge downstairs and we ate one bag fresh and then um, I needed to deal with this. I know I should have dealt with it already. It's best to deal with it right away because you get the best sweetness. I know, I know, I know. But I was going to can some, um, but I just really haven't had time. So I am just going to go the easy route and freeze this. And literally, uh, I'm going to go super, super easy. And I'm just going to put it in this, this uh, freezer bag. I'm not going to even get out my vacuum sealer because that's just what I'm doing right now. And we'll eat this. Um, you know, we'll, we eat this one first before we eat the vacuum sealed ones because those will last a little bit longer. So here's the bag that I just uh, put in the bag and I'm gonna freeze. And then we do have five other bags. So I got six bags out of this batch and I had really, really wanted to try pressure canning corn because this would be the first time that I'd be using the pressure canner and of course the first time canning corn. So I'm really excited to try my hand at preserving corn that way, the next batch that I get. But for now, freezing corn is super, super easy. So if you want an easy way to preserve corn, this is the way to go.